okay so today's webinar is all about python gaming okay what does it mean so i'm going to develop some game using a python okay and i know that you know people know why the python is the evolution now why the re what is the reason why people started choosing python because it is simplest of program okay so now the today's game is all about the flute and ninja using python i hope everybody at least somewhere they are on you know their days at least would have gone through this flute ninja right sometime you know whenever i get bored during my days okay so that's where i usually go and surf this game so i thought you know i can able to relate something with you people that's why i chosen this game and uh, this is just for example okay so you can do plenty of uh, uh, no the games using python and this is perfectly you know suits our webinar so i just taken this fruit ninja as a, a topic because here we going to do with a lot of stuff okay so the coding part will be little easier here so i thought of you know introducing you people to this kind of a gaming okay so that's it so today's topic is the fruit ninja game development using python using python i'm not going to choose any other topic neither ml nor open cv data science pandas nothing a to z it will be completely python that i want to confess you people okay so everything is on a you know it right so before i head into our gaming webinars right so i want to quickly go through the prerequisites that is important right i know that you people are most probably people are in academics or some may, some might be already working or some might be you know into the experience to you know for sure the important thing when you develop anything before you develop anything the first thing that you have to always focus is that what was the exact prerequisite what is the need before i develop as usual python software everybody knows okay and preferably the latest version i'll be happy for the development but you can choose a lower version also but there will be slightest of a code change and uh, the libraries that i'm going to use in my game development will be these three libraries pygame os and random os and random it is the inbuilt library of a python so when you download python this os and random will come by default in your program so you no need to do the installation for pygame as of course you need to do the installation there are two ways to do the installation one you can either choose pip install i don't want to go deeper into the python i want to just stick with this gaming console but i want to give the heads up okay so the pygame you can download using a pip install through the command prompt if time permits if you have a time at last 5 minutes it maybe i can help you out with the installation part of this pygame or else you can choose this website which you see on the bottom of my screen okay so i want to entitle these two as well the first link that i have showed is for downloading of a python and next one is for downloading this pygame courtesy to this website okay next topic right so at the same time it is not necessary that we should always stick with the technical aspect at times you may have to always analyze pre analyze what are the non technical needs okay so basically what i want what i want is that you know it right so when you develop a game especially fruit ninja what happen some fruits will come out where you have to sl slice it okay and there will be x button which shows you the life and there will be a score and these are nothing but images okay so that's what i told so you need to have a image folder with all the image re requested or you know which is needed for the project development and the background any game which always give the attraction and which always gives you that impression it's because of the background that it possess very vital role you might feel you know it may not play the huge role but imagine you know guys whatever the application that you people use whatever the website you people use when the website looks so good for our naked eye that is where we get impressed then we will feel yes the wow factor so that's what important that image selection for the background of the game important and as usual fonts fonts is very important and i want these three to be on the same folder i'm going to explain practically now look at this so this is what i told so this is my folder inside my folder i have these three which is i pointed out on my slides images so these are all the images which is needed because i'm going to slice these fruits so this is important and then white means lives red means 
is gone. Okay, that means done and dusted. And this is for the background and this is for the explosion. This is for the icon of bomb. And when you slash this icon, this is for the explosion. This image, this is font and this is background. Okay, what else? You need to have this file game. This file game. So this is a incorporated library of most of the games in Python. So what is the important thing with Python, you know? So you don't need to write many code. There is no essentiality for you people to write a lot of code because Python do contain a library. It has all the inbuilt package. Utilize it. Just make sure that you entitle that in your program. That's the beauty of Python. The way you write the code becomes very simpler and you don't need to surf any internet for you know doing a lot of stuff. It is there, use it and make sure that you get into it. Okay. Like the prerequisite. What is prerequisite generally? What are the external factors that is needed for the game development? The environment, the OS that you're going to work, uh, the version of Python that you're going to work, that is external factor. Internal factor I already showed. There are three libraries, OS, Random, and Pygame. And I was specifically highlighted this, this Pygame is a third-party library where you people have to install it. After installing, the very essential point, the very essential point of this Pygame is that these are the inbuilt function. Inside a Pygame, there is a function called display. Inside a Pygame, there is a function called init. Inside a Pygame, there is a times it is like you know it's like the pi game is a whole lot package for example i'm running a mechanical shop this a bike mechanical shop so what happened i need to repair some bike so i need some tools so what i'll be telling i'll be asking my you know helper to buy me get me this tool and again i may ask my you know uh, helper to get me this banner so what i'll be doing i'll be doing i'll be sending my helper to get certain things again and again but it is better if I tell my helper to get the complete box, which contains the complete tool, that is what the library. This library is a bag or the container, which is going to contain all the tools necessarily needed for servicing my bike. That's what Pygame. So Pygame has a whole lot of package, whole lot of events. So whatever it is necessary, whatever it is necessity for you to use, you can use that. So among those events, so whatever the highlighted are very important events are very important aspect of any program, especially when you use Pygame. And you might have one basic question. Sir, is this applicable only for this Fruit Ninja gaming development? And my answer is capital letter N and O. Definitely no. This Pygame is a whole lot of package which helps as in doing a lot of programs lot of gaming. So it is an inbuilt one. You can develop using a Pygame with a different game also. Okay, so Pygame is an overall package which contains a necessary helper script, necessary library which is needed for developing any program. So that's what the Pygame. So Pygame is our icon here. He is the hero here. He is going to play the entire part, whereas this OS, random, Python, if statement, while statement, will do as a co-artist in our the old function. Okay. And uh, we discussed this and code setup, simple. I had only five function. I repeat, I had only five function and this, we are, these are the five important function that I'm gonna do. So where I'm gonna start, where it is gonna do the travel, what are the conditions? How can I stop my program? How does I terminate? That's it. That is what I have written in various functions, the operations, okay? And let's go into the code box. So as you can see my screen, right? I'm using PyCharm for development of my script, okay? And you can use whatever the editor that you feel that you are comfortable with. As of now, I'm using PyCharm. So before I get you people involved into the code, I want you people to see how the output comes, okay? And let me show this code. It starts from line number one. And 
it ends at line number 166. So totally 160 lines of a code. And imagine that is in between spaces also. If you ignore these spaces and the line hardly comes up around 100. One and only 100. So it feel you should get the comfort that yes, it is very easy to develop any program. Let me straight away run the program. All right. Nothing is needed. Okay. Nothing is needed here. So what happened here is that I got the screen. I got the screen which is essential for my game. This is what the fruit ninja. What it says? It says press any key to begin. So let I'm just pressing any key. That's it. I'm not doing anything, guys. It started flourishing the fruits. That's what it is. It is started flourishing the fruits. Look at that. Okay. Because just to display you people, just to show you people in other aspect, right? I just kept a time only. And I started making this code. It automated. Look at this. The life is time now. When it reaches a certain time, it is going to end. It is going to end. That's it. It says score is 15. So what I did, the number of seconds that you play the number of the number of seconds you do play is what the score that I have decided here. That is what the score I have decided here. But in future, if you want to make sure that you make the score based upon the swipe of the fruit, you can do that. Let me press again and show you the fruits get popped out automatically on the left side, right left corner. You can see the scores for the respective uh, seconds. And on the right side, it gives you the lives. It gives you the life as well. Okay. So this is what it is. Can I get some response from you people? Anything on the output that you see? I'm going to explain you about the coding part. Any response, guys, from all of you on the chat quickly? Yeah, yeah. As of now, I just made it as an automatic score. Okay, as of now, I made it as an automatic score. And that's what I told. As of now, the number of seconds that you play without any trouble, that's what the score. The number of seconds that you survive. Fine. Good. Because I need the questions from you people so that I can give the answer from your perspective. No, you have to just click. You have to click. So let me play it. That's it. You need to keep your mouse. Look at that. You need to click the mouse. So I just made it like higher seconds. So it is running fast. So you need to use your mouse to swipe these things as you do with your fingers, right? When you play with your mobile phones, same here. My, my, my mouse is very sensitive because I cannot swipe any fruit, but that's how the game works. You need to swipe the fruit through the mouse event. So everything is a mouse event here. So that I want to give you the clarity. This is entirely on the mouse event. You go and touch any fruit, it will get automatically swiped up, sliced off. Look at the certain fruits are getting sliced. Look at that. Look at that. Certain fruits are getting sliced. If you remember, if you look closely, the number of fruits that I swipe, my seconds is getting increased. Look at it. Earlier it was only 15. As I started slicing the fruit, look at this. I'm still playing. The code is not getting terminated. Because that's how I, I made the code logic. Then you can write your own logic. Say that if I miss some 100 fruit count, you just eliminate the program. If I start missing 5 fruit, you delete that. So you can make anything. For the neighbor station, that I simply kept it this way. So as I started swiping the fruits, right, the number of seconds that it gives me will getting larger. The life that I'm getting is very larger. 
that's it it says 26 so earlier case what happened when i don't do anything i think it is stopped around 15 or 16 it stopped around 15 or 16 but now what happened as i started swiping the fruits as i started slicing the fruit the seconds got increased because that's how i made my logic and on top of this, you can see this is something that you can keep your names. Everything is a code. Absolutely, absolutely, whatever it is. I'll tell you, I am going through the, I'm going to take you people through the code. Fine. Let me stop this. Now, any program you want to understand first you need to see where the program is getting evolution that means where the program is getting started in this fruit ninja program the entire game starts on this while loop the entire game starts on this while loop okay so what is why why a game running there is a variable that i'm used here game running means true so while true while true means the code will start running so it will come here that's what i just given like a starting for your understanding okay so this is the block for starting and ending your program this is your complete block this is your entire block especially the coding block There are some questions, Nishant. It may run till the user interprets. Yeah, 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 absolutely. That's a wild statement. It keeps running. Okay. And the exact code starts over here. Look at this. If game over, game over means game start. Just a variable name. Don't take the literal meaning. Game over means the game is ending. No, this is just a variable. So here, what happened? I have just kept this variable as a true. True means what? start so if true yes if first round yes it is a first round then start again so it will go to this uh function this is the function okay look at this so now that's what i told right game display what is game display this is nothing but one of the aspect or attribute of a phi game so it has some gaming panel you see the panel right the square box that is showed you in the screen right that is what the game display and uh, these are something that i'm going to keep it for the background cosmetics and this is where the game starts look at this you would have seen this icon right press key to begin okay if the game is getting over then it is getting stop here by highlighting the score of yours it highlights the score of yours and the game is getting stuck. So this is the actual function which helps us in making the code runs. It adds the score and also it ticks past the number of life, of life that you people has. Okay, so clock doc ticks means it is what the what is clock? Clock is again inbuilt attribute of a pi game. Okay, so I cannot you know. Uh, take you through the entire lines each and every line but at least i can show you the block by block set of a code and here this is where it decides whether i'm going to quit that means whether i'm going to close the program or again i'm going to run the program that's what i done here when the code runs is the operation when the first set of running is done i again once again i made that particular key press and i started playing the game that's what it is okay so that is what show game and here there is another function draw text look at this and this is for actual screen fonts so this is going to set all the font that you see the scores the suore the spelling the x mark on the right side corner so each and everything will be carried out by this functionality okay so again, look at this. Inside a Pi game, you have something called font. Inside a font, you have something called font as a function, and you're making that. And that font name is 
comic dot ttf this is what it is that you are setting the font usually right you play any game you need to set certain style of a font to get display that's what here look at this this is what the comic and this is what ttf file for me that's what i'm using here so this draw text file is basically to set your screen that's it so what are, what are the things that we see now we just made this game dot display is that for the background and this draw text is to keep those font wherever it is applicable the press key font quit font the score you scored the number of the numbers that got displayed that everything will be text now same thing if the game is not over again it will check that means here this if statement is basically for displaying the score when the game is over earlier it was true but i'm checking if it is not true somewhere it is going to do some operation that we going to see later okay so that's what it is and then draw lives there is another function called draw lives so this is to set you the number of life a specific user has okay look at this again a basic python thing. and this is allow the py game stuff py game that image lot load of image if you check this image you will get to know what was the actual image So py dot image is another part of the program, the list. So you come back here. As soon as you're done, you come back here because that is where you started. This is what you need to see. So game okay, show game over screen. The background screen it says, and then it says the draw leaves you. How many leaves it is going to display? That is what it is going to do. Then this is the event py game dot event dot get. Right, you're going to get the event. And you're gonna start here again. You're setting the game display dot pick. This is setting up the background score everything, and this is where the entire game starts. Those fruits is getting popped out from here. These things, explosion, generate fruits, everything gets up here. Look at this. This is vital, vital, vital function. Generate means what? it gives you the fruits it gives you the fruit and randomly it chooses the coordinate sometimes it comes in right side sometimes it comes in the left side sometimes it comes in the middle right it's randomly generating that's what it is look at this random dot rand in so that means within this 100 to 500 as a coordinate of x you know it right we generally play the game on two coordinates x axis and y axis so we need to set on which axis at which point between the x and y the particular fruit should come so that is what this displays this x and this y what is the speed of it you can decide the speed if you want the fruit to enter into the lower speed you can set it here and these are all the random based function random dot random int random it means randomly give me the integer number that comes between 100 and 500 randomly you give me the integer number that comes between minus 2 to 10 so that what happened you may not predict the same area where the fruit may come so fruit may come on the left side it may come on the middle it may come on the right so all this fruit popping out right the reason why that is getting popped out at this particular function and you know that every diagram every videos that you play it is always based upon the x and y coordinate so i'm just taking the x and y and just going to give it to the function i'm just deciding where it is going to get displayed where it is going to get displayed and this food path it goes to the image folder of mine and it randomly picks the fruit that's the beauty if you want to see the fruit look at this Look at this. From the fruits, you are just popping out. Again, what happened? Here you're calling this function. 
So this function will be called again and the fruits will be randomly popped out. If you want to see the fruits, look at this. So by default, I've given that in a list. So I've just given that in an iteration. Okay, so it is giving the iteration. So basically I'm gonna have the data in the list and when I need it, it is gonna randomly pick, sometimes it will pick melon, sometimes it pick orange. That is what the random function, okay? So let us go back to the same corner, same place. Yes, that's what generate group and current mouse position. X, Y, that's what I told. It's all about the coordinates. And this is I'm checking. If I touch upon the bomb, a key called the bomb, what that should do, it should reduce my life by one. That's what minus is equal to one. That means if my life is already three, it will reduce that my life by minus one. So my life will become two. And then I'm deciding. And then I'm deciding. Look at this. If life becomes zero, I'm completely hiding the everything. If you want to see hide cross lips, I'm reducing the life. So what happened? That red color button you see in when I was look at this, this red color button, right? I'm hiding that. So I see with Python, I cannot do too much of technical aspect where you know I can remove that at all. I cannot remove, but what I'm doing here, I'm hiding the red color button. So what basically would have happened when I start the program, initially it would have been a three red shows the three life that I have. As soon as I hit that particular bomb, what happened? I'm hiding that red color. I'm not removing. I'm hiding. That's what hide cross leaves. Cross leaves means the text cross. That is just a name that I've given. So you can see it, right? Everything that I'm going to play, everything I'm going to do is only based upon a minor, minor code manipulation. That's what it is. So here, whenever the bomb is pressed, that is what I was deciding. I'm decrementing the life by one and by basic, the life will be three. If you want to keep it four, you can do it. And look at it. If the user clicks the bomb from the three times, that's it. The game in bit shift. If that's what here, if the fail is less than zero, then it, it's going to start over and everything will be done as usual. Okay, so just the four function as rightly pointed out. And these are the basic thing that you need to set. Look at this, I should have told first. So initially you have to set how many life a player should get. And initially you have to set what was the base score line. And then you need to set what was the fruit that you're going to play. And exactly this name should be there in your images. Okay, why off orange here? When I slice, it should display this. When I slice my pomegranate, it should display this off sliced one. So that is what off slice. When I slice the melon, it should give the off melon. If I slice the goa, it should give the off goa. Look at this. Everything is very easier. That's what I'm doing here. So basically, I should get the basic name. You need to make sure that these names are the exact replica of the image that you have. And these are the basic setting. What was the window? The window size. Seconds. In it is a basic Pi game in it. You have to initialize it here. And this is the caption that you see on the screen. This caption. Okay. That's the screen. And these are the colors. You might be wondering, sir, what is this 250? These are nothing but a color coordinates. If you keep 255, 255, 255 in this kind of a data, it represent white. If you keep 0, 0, 0, it represent black. So these are color coordinates. And then at first, as I told, right, you're setting the background for your thing. Back.jpg. What is back.jpg? This one. This is your background. Okay, you're setting the background there. And uh, you're setting the font. 
so this is phi game dot pawn dot pawn again the function and this is the method os dot path dot join you're trying to join a path get cwd means current working directory so it will go to the current working directory from there it is going to pick the carbon dot tf for that you can directly mention the name also i'm just given this just for showing you the additional functionality and os model but you can directly give this name okay so this is to join a folder with this file what does it mean that means this folder only in this folder you have that comic right that's what i ddl and this is the live icon live means number of leaves i told red right, x mark so i just setting this variable so that whenever you date need a data to display or displaying it here okay so this random function you know it right it is going to randomly generate a fruit and it is going to set the geographical area or the geographical position where the fruit will going to travel or the bomb going to travel okay that is what here look at this it start returning that's what it is okay and this is to randomly take the fruit again you can see i'm using this function so every fruit will be randomly taken out and this function will be called and why this function is needed whenever you hit a bomb this will come and hide one red color icon what is red color icon the life that you have the app for that particular program draw text what the draw text what kind of text that you going to display on your background that is the draw text what is draw leaves the number of x that you going to keep on the right side of your screen that's what the coordinate x coordinate and y coordinate look at this so what it says when you run when you run look at this this is y this is x so on the x and this point you need to keep your life that's what it is that's what this coordinates so look at this you randomly setting one coordinate so that that particular image will be set up over there and show game over this is where the game shows the exact thing. fruit ninja stuff when the game is over it is going to give you the score that is the starting screen starting screen show game over screen whether you want to press the key to continue again that it what here and this is all about the clocks that tick fast okay and the rest of the things this is what the initial part the inception part you have to set this as a true first round as a true game run as a true initially it should be set true but everywhere it might be setting into false look at this when it is done it is again set to false false means what that's it the code will stop its running that is what it is while game running okay look at this game over you are setting it false that means what whenever you are done you are making it as a false false means what again the code will not run and this is where the background stuff the x y axis the fruit gets popped out okay all right if you are python developer if you know the python already it is very pretty much easy guys it's like a cake walk for you people and if you are from some other background i know it is little bit of stuff in understanding this a small aspect but i'll tell you people whatever i have done here it might sounds little you know tricky that i'm using so much of thing i'm using nothing if you people are good at string enough string and a bit of a looping iteration if while else that's it nothing much here the only part that you people have to learn is a few attributes of the pi game that you have to learn it's like a reading a normal stuff you have to learn what is pi game what is pi game dot display dot set caption okay what is pi dot display dot set mode okay this you need to learn but rest of the things this is something like a normal declaration look at this a normal assignment a dictionary here for that matter you need to learn dictionary and this is random dot random to generate a random number between 1 to 0 and this is a normal for loop which keeps iterating this list 
so you are trying to loop the list what is this a normal function calling it not even have the return statement and it calls it does the operation that's it it is not written even if, if it is a return then of course you will feel that difficulty factor but it is not at all having a return also it's like see daily i want to sweep my room morning afternoon evening i want to sweep my room what i felt i felt so burden that i'm doing sweeping again and again so what i have to do appoint a sweeper so whenever i want that operation to be done call the sweeper that's what here i made a separate function when i need a use of the function just call it that's it that's what each and every function declare the operation if you need that's call that if you look at this this everything is a normal python operation so everything is a python operation while loop if loop again if the matter important matter is that the arrangement the alignment so i prefer you people to use pycharm for this matter because you have to play lot of if statement right so pycharm will give you some at least some intelligence if you do any wrong thing on the code okay so that's with respect to the that is with respect to the coding guys nothing much here to you know explain because of the time you know limitation if we have a broader time i would have explained each and every one of line by running the program but since we have a limitation of a time i am just sticking with this okay so i prefer you people to just go through this table see if you want to get mastered in anything this table is sufficient absolutely absolutely sufficient on my experience front when you want to develop a python what is essential python language is essential inside a python what is essential a looping a function and exception if you look at my code i never done my exception try catch you have to do that that's it and you need to learn about the py games what you have to learn you need to learn the number of event that py games has the number of attributes i showed you right font dot font font dot set mode font dot set caption that you need to learn cosmetics mean some things like width height colors font that you have to learn and libraries for any gaming development random os model system module time regular expression file operation will come into handy and there is one library called py installer that is also important to convert now what happening is that i am running this i am i am just falling short of time guys and i'll take quickly so py installer is another library which is going to convert this program this is now i'm having as a python program where i need a pycharm to run the program or i need idle or i need a jupyter to run the program if i don't want anything if i want to convert this program into exe like normal gaming as yes, you can do that you can use py install to convert this python program into a executable program and tool that's what i told right whatever you feel that you are comfortable you can use the tool and additional stuff that i want you to add is logging how the code is going because now what happened i just randomly take you people through the code through my vocals through my voice only but you need to set a log so that at the end of the code your file will be generated where you can see where are the code travels you can see the number of steps the hierarchy where it travel first at which function it travels again where the error comes so to the debugging when i do the debugging obviously you will come to know where the logic exists and then config config for means when you want to keep any important related stuff that is what config and the database now we didn't use any database but you can use database to store the score of a user as of now i'm not specified any username you can made a modification to the code in such a way that you get the username and ask him to play once you done with the play you can store that user and box into a db i'll prefer you to use monger db because that is what at need of an r okay so that's it with respect to whatever i supposed to do from my end guys and i hope that this session would have been given at least a small glimpse at least the eye opener for you to feel yes i can do the coding everybody can do the python game i if i confess you people guys everybody if you know the basics of python you can strongly sit and start doing the program development with respect to the experience i hold i can you know strongly believe that everyone can do the code provided you understand the basic at least the tablet structure that i have shown